video tours the home that's for rent at 1219 Sunset Lane in Whiteheath, Illinois. I'm going to show you the outside, talk about location, uh, then we'll go inside and take a look. So you're looking down kind of at the side of the home. So first let's talk about, anybody let's look this up, the railroad tracks. Yes, there are railroad cars there. These tracks are belong to and owned and maintained by the Monticello Railway Museum. Uh, so they're not used barely at all. They keep their cars parked over there. So this home sits on a total of five acres. When you're a tenant, you'll enjoy the two acres of grass. The owner um, has that in crop, so it'll rotate yearly. Right now it's in beans. Two ways to get here. This is the White Heath exit off of Interstate 72 straight ahead there. Um, then there's this little lane. It is a dirt lane. When it rains, it is hard to get up. Talk about the property across the street. This is actually owned by somebody um, that lives on the other side of the railroad tracks. They don't live here. They keep some chickens and some uh, project cars. So it's a pretty quiet location. Beautiful view. You can see these trees here. I'm trying to be quiet. You can hear a tiny bit of interstate noise, but it is very minute. And trust me, the views that you're going to see here are... Uh, way relaxing so you'll forget all about the tire noise from the semis so like i said there is a railway museum railroad just straight up over there um, they do run every now and again monticello runs the polar express some other things they've got rail days and things like that so the property is just gorgeous like i said you can see this here, so you are responsible for mowing and snow removal. Let me show you the front of the house. So it's a three bedroom, three bath ranch with a partial finished basement. The garage, while it's two car entry, it's actually too deep also, so it'll hold four cars. There's an overhead door on the back. Tall ceilings, you'll see that when we get inside. The home was built in 2001. There is a ramp on the front along with stairs on that front deck just gonna kind of go around I'm gonna walk the whole outside of the house and then we'll go inside the homes available for an immediate move-in it is a one-year lease pets are allowed however they're just the domesticated pets this is not meant for farm animals you are on city water so you've got that nice little burr over there you can kind of see those rail cars So that lower window there, that is a window in a family room in the basement. So the railway actually maintains a little bit of the grass on each side. Not much. They've got a little easement. The tree line's pretty much where your property line is. Nice little fire pit out there. Little play set. So the house is on propane. There is a wood-burning stove as well, and we can show you how to use it to help keep your propane bills down, but tenants are responsible to have the propane filled as they need it. It is a purchase system with different companies. We'll get you that information. There's that other door out the back side. All right, so let's go in, take a look, and uh, see what all you're getting. So right here we've got a summer sink. In winter time we'll show you how to disconnect that so it doesn't freeze, but it's a great little sink to come in if you're out working in the yard and wash off. Let's go in this garage first, talk about it. So as you can see, super tall ceilings. You could have one of those portable lifts out here if you did mechanic work or something, you know, and tinkered on your cars. Overhead garage door openers. The owner had a uh, air tank here for an air handler to put, you know, that. There is a stove over there to heat. They do have the window air conditioner to kind of cool this off if you're out here working. The lawnmower does not come with the property. You'll have to have your own mower. There's that stove to help heat it. Tons of storage in here, as you can see. Saw the little workbench over here. So just all kinds of opportunity. So I'm gonna walk out of here and actually go in the front door. 
So this is that nice little breezeway. There's lights in the breezeway. Plenty of concrete up here for parking. So just a nice little space to, to roam. All right, let's go. In the front door. Now as a tenant, you're responsible for the power, the city water, trash services. All right, we're in the living room, dining room, kitchen. So you're gonna see this is a big open floor plan, which is awesome. Carpets are all new on this level. If you see carpet, it's brand new, never been walked on, nothing. Got the feature wall there, nice tall ceilings. Got them vaulted. Plenty of windows, just some little sheer drapes in there, but see the, the views you get from your front. There's that kitchen right there and that half wall leads to the basement. We'll go down there. So I'll actually kind of do a lap here and we're going to go into the kitchen next through the utility room, bathroom, bedrooms, and then we'll go in the basement. So under this light, it's meant to have your dining room table here, so you've got a, just a nice big open floor plan. All the appliances have been included. Get your sink. If you're forced to wash dishes, at least you can look outside and trust me, you're going to see some animals. You've got an electric cooktop stove. Tons of storage in the cabinets. Got some recessed lighting. You got your refrigerator. Let me give you another look where we just came from. So there's that front door. Stairs to the basement are there. We're gonna end in the basement. So here's that door we saw on the side next to that summer sink. You've got a sliding pocket door here, so you can close this off if you don't want to look at your utility room, but tons of space in this utility room along with the sink. You have a washer dryer. So if you wanted to put up some storage shelves, anything like that, maybe you're an extreme couponer, a store, whatever, there's plenty of room. You could put a table in here and make this a crafting room. There is an exhaust fan. So another pocket door leads into the bathroom, which this is the full bathroom for the upper level. There's one in the master as well. So you could easily keep this pocket door here closed all the time if you wanted to. More storage space right here. That's just a cleaning bucket. So you could put something here to store. You've got your tub right here. And then we go out. And we're back into, there's the front door we walked in, and you've got closets right here. So this is your main hall closet, and then there's a linen closet right next to it. Straight ahead is the smallest of the three bedrooms. We'll go in there second. So we're going to actually come in from that hallway and turn to the left and go to the second bedroom. This is the second in size. There are no doors on the closet. You could hang a rod or something there if you wanted. It's got a nice little built-in desk. Some extra storage here in this closet, but nice size bedroom. Got the ceiling fan, all brand new carpet in here as well. Got the natural trim, which is pretty. The doors, the six panel. So leaving this bedroom, just so we can kind of keep an uh, idea where you're at, come out of there. We're going into the smallest of the three bedrooms, but it's still good in size. And this one overlooks the backyard. That's what that window there is. And see, that's what I was talking about. You could hang a curtain or something to block it. Closet in here as well. Nice ceiling fan, moving that air around nicely. You got those six panel doors. Then we're gonna go into the master bedroom. Master bedroom's super big. Plenty of room. Again, new carpet in all these rooms up here. Two windows, one overlooking the backyard and the other overlooking the side yard over there. Ceiling fan in here as well. You got a big walk-in closet. We'll go in it in a second. 
The walls have been touched up, nice fresh paint. And here's the master bathroom. It's nice and large as well. So all you gotta do is move right in and you'll start enjoying. You see those beautiful clean home. And here's that walk-in closet for the master. And ladies, if you're nice, you'll let your husband maybe have a shelf in here. Just kidding. He can use the closet in the other bedroom, right? Who are we kidding? So that's the end of the master. So let's walk back around and we'll go down in the basement and the tour down there in the basement. So we're coming out of the master, back in that hallway. We're in the living room, dining room, kitchen, just to give you an idea where you're at. So we're getting ready to go down into the basement. And so now we're going down in the basement. There is a safety gate here with the latch, so you don't have to worry about that. Nice wide stairs. So the stairs are nice and wide, and we'll go down there and tour the basement. All right, light switches. So as you walk down, this part's the unfinished part. There's a bedroom, a family room, and a bathroom. Straight ahead is that wood burner stove I was talking about that you can actually, in the winter time, heat with that and save your propane. We can explain all that. You don't have to use it. You can use just propane too if you want. So straight ahead is the family room. You've got carpet in here. You've got the uh, wainscoting. Little drop ceiling. So a nice little place to send the kids to hang out. We'll show you the finished parts and then we'll look at the two unfinished areas and the mechanicals. Next stop will be the basement full bathroom. This also has a pocket door. Turn some lights on in here. Some pump is here under that platform. So you've got a stand up shower, ceramic tile down here. Nice sink. So the ceilings aren't finished in here, but it's a basement bathroom, right? See that stand-up shower over there? And then we'll go into what could be an office. You could use it as a fourth bedroom if you wanted. Right through here, through this door. Now there's no windows in here. This is the reason we're not calling it a true bedroom. But if you're looking for a nice quiet space, dark room so you can really rest, this is the place. Make it an office. Got your closet there, ceiling fan, recessed light. All right, let's look at some of the unfinished areas and then we'll finish the tour. So in here they've kept wood. Um, they obviously, they bring it in through that window for an easy way to get it in. Get a little rail system there. If you're not interested in this, we can have the wood removed. Over here's the mechanical area and a huge indoor workshop. So if you're into woodworking, crafts, what a great room. You can see they've got a ceiling up in here. Plenty of outlets off the workbench. This is the water shut off. Here's your electrical panel. Hot water tank. And there's the furnace. You get some more storage over here. So wouldn't it be nice to work on your projects in this room and not have to be outside in the heat and cold. It's nice and cool down here in the summer. And then we've got more storage over here as well. Maybe you want to put a garden, do some canning, plenty of shelves for that. Or maybe you run a home business where you have products and you need lots of shelving. This would be a great spot for that. All right, well, this is going to conclude the tour of the home that's for rent in Whiteheath, Illinois. If you have any questions, want to schedule a private showing, please feel free to give me or one of my agents a call. We'd be happy to show this home or any home to you. Thanks for viewing, and have a great day.